Beppo, you're here with Divine Queen who finished a big second last year in the Groupie Doll, and you're coming back. Of course, Groupie Doll's named for the two-time champion that you trained and who won the Groupie Doll and ran in it twice. Talk about how Divine Queen is doing. Oh, she's doing super. She's um, She got turned out in the middle of the winter, and um, then the pandemic came along. So she's, um, she's doing super, though. She's had one race and uh, came came flying to finish fourth in, that, in her first race back at Churchill and uh, now we're going back to the groupie doll which she finished second in last year so we're hoping that she's um, she's ready to go. Black Queen ran a super race last year uh, she finished second to go Google yourself. Um, of course this year there, there's going to be a lot of uh, star power in there again as well uh, I understand and uh, but um, you know she ran a big race last year and and she's probably better at a seven eighths of a mile, but uh, the mile she, she can carry the mile. She's a she's a double stakes winner uh, here at Churchill Downs, but oh. um, but we're you know it'd be great to win a race that was named after one of my homebreds with a homebred. Right? Yeah, you always like participating in the groupie doll. In, in oh yeah, can. yeah. We we try to run in the groupie doll when we can. We uh, we do like to participate in it. And it would even be better if we get a homebred to. To win it. She comes up from the family with uh, the player. Um, I don't know how you would say the, if uh, the player was her nephew or something, but uh, um, yeah, she's very closely related to the player. Um, and you mentioned the, the star power. It looks like Street Band's going to be going band, in there. Yeah, Street Band and uh, another one, but Street Band was the, the main one. So, you know, it's. Uh, It'll be fun though. I, it, I love it for you know. I mean, Ellis Park is is doing really well, getting some great horses there, and uh, you know, with our collector and uh, uh, then having uh, maybe street band running. Just about grew up on the back stretch of Ellis Park, you know, with your dad. Just have the, the fact that they have a derby prep through the weird circumstances that we're in with COVID nineteen, and not just that. I mean, it's fifty points. And, and getting one of the favorites for the Derby right now in our collection. No, and I, I think it's, uh, no, it's great for them to have it. I think we have really, in the past few years, have made Kentucky strong. And you see more and more trainers stay, staying around for, uh, for the summer and not traveling up uh, to Saratoga and other places. So it's really nice to have a prep like that. And I think uh, Tommy Drury's done a phenomenal job with the horse and I mean, this this next move going there, I think is the smartest thing you could do. I think it's a great decision to, to go there and give yourself a, a close to home um, prep race for the Derby. It's exactly what you did the second year with Groupie Doll when she was coming back. Right. And I, you... I took her uh, took her over there uh, to uh, run in the Gardenia at the time, which is now the Groupie Doll. But um, you know took my dad for the race and he wasn't in great health and and uh, I really you know we go down there and you always want to win obviously um, and she was a big favorite but she got she got outrun by two really nice horses at the time and this that race showed us she was back she finished third in there but it was after we stopped for after about five minutes I was over being disappointed I was just glad to see that she still had her run and still made a run and just came up a little bit short and um, yeah, the next race uh, she won. So, you know, you can relate to Tommy Drury coming up with his sort of his first big horse. He got to keep and not maybe get ready for somebody else. Right. In Art Collector, Brass Hat was kind of the horse that put you on the map. Right. I mean, you can understand what this could mean for him. Oh yeah, and I talked to Tommy after the race and uh, after the Bluegrass. I was when his horse had pulled out. And I said, "Listen, you've done a great job. You're going to have about." Uh, hundred other trainers want to tell you what to do. I said, you know what you've done so far, just stick to your game plan and most of all, enjoy it because they don't come around very often and for, for people like us and uh, I just told them, I said, you just got to make sure you enjoy it. You've got a very good owner and an owner that will let you enjoy it. So I said, that'll, that'll be fun. 